Hello everybody, welcome to Project High Rise. This is the beta of a brand new little city building game where you focus on one building. Inspired by older games like Sim Tower, I believe. It's actually pretty cool. We're gonna check it out today. I did the tutorial already and kind of worked my way around it. And so you have uh, scenarios, you have the game. The game is sort of just a sandbox mode. Let's see, and I think it randomizes. Yep, so it's gonna give us different building names. Let's see, let's call it uh, Cormic. Place your Cormac Tower. Let's go with Cormac Tower. There we go. Difficulty level standard, lot size standard. Gets pretty big. Yep, we start with a good amount of money. The economy solid, tenants are easy to find. Sounds good to me. So here we are in Project High Rise. This is basically what you see here. You start with this little building uh, with one floor and a basement, a couple of maintenance workers, and you have to build and manage your whole high rise. Uh, you can be residential, you can have businesses, you have to deal with all sorts of expenses and maintenance and utilities. So it's a relatively in-depth management game and I'm, I, I think it's pretty neat. I like the real simplistic art style, kind of the 2D uh, split view gives you a good way to do it. So you have little goals up here like proof of concept. Daily rent goal is $1,000. Sounds like a plan. So we're going to start off by building some offices on this ground floor. So we're going to go over here. And we're going to build, let's see, over here we have our electric line, we have our maintenance room, we have a couple of stairs, and then this is the utility closet that will actually allow us to distribute utilities on this floor. So I'm going to start off by building some offices. We'll build them, um, just way back here in the back. We'll build two, a little bit three offices, and then we get to figure out who we want the, the, to take those offices. So we have insurance offices. Accounting, legal, and creative. We don't have the requirements for those yet. So we're going to do some insurance officers. Uh, I think they, yeah, their rent's a little lower. But they're pretty eager to move in. So we'll do two insurance offices. And then we'll have uh, an accounting office right here. And uh, now that we have those built, our maintenance staff is going to head on over and start work on building them. We can actually speed that up there. You can see, oop, wasn't wide enough. He's just hammering the window. They're both just, oh, what is she doing? Jeez. <laughs> just hammering the windows. Come on, guys. How long is it going to take? Yeah, it, it, it would have buy a lot faster in the tutorial. But now we go. We have our first uh, uh, insurance agents coming in. Uh, we do not have electrical lines in here. So we have to go down to utilities. Where are utilities at? Right here. And we got to bring over our electrical lines. It's going to cost $10 for each one of these little rectangles that fills up. But now they have electricity. So there we go, we get over to see the unit report, we have Eagle Insurance Company. Uh, they are satisfied and they are paying a daily rent of $85 with one employee and you have the work hours here. So they'll come and go all willy nilly. And then over here we have Line Insurance. Satisfaction is okay, but it is going up. Let's see, what do they currently need? They have power. Uh, they'll probably need a phone line at some point, hopefully they'll, they'll let us know. Hmm, but we do know that they will actually want some place to eat. So we're actually going to allocate a space for a small restaurant. Um, do we want to do it there? We could do it in the basement, <laughs> but then they'd have to pass through here. We're actually going to go and, uh, for this first episode at least, I'm at least going to be showing you guys a little bit more of the game, kind of rushing into it. May not be the best in terms of our money management, but I want to show you what's capable in the game. Also on that note, if you do enjoy this game, make sure you let me know, leave a comment, leave a like. Uh, it's a little bit slower paced than what we normally have been playing, but I think it'd be fun to check out. This guy's taking his time to build this, isn't he? Jeez, what's going on here? He, is, he has been hammering it. There he goes. Okay, it is complete. Now someone's going to move in their central tax offices. And we're actually going to add a brand new floor. So we're going to go over here, add more floor pieces, and a whole new floor to our building. Look at that. Already expanded it. Now we can start work on what we want to do. And we have stairs here, but I kind of want to give ourselves an elevator. Let's see. Construction buildings have blah, blah, blah. transit? No. Where elevators? Oh, there we go. Undo that. There we go. So we had two elevators right there. Our maintenance guys will start work on that real quick. And up here. Um. Oh, wait. We can't build this? Oh, they got to finish constructing the floor. Okay. So we're going to speed time up. They're going to work on the elevators. And then, uh,. Finish this entire floor. All right, there we are. Floor is complete. Did these guys never go home because I realize it's pretty late. <laughs> Do they not sleep or anything? They just kind of hang out here and read their newspapers all day, every day. They're like machines. Maybe they are robots. And I think at midnight we should get a 
uh, daily budget summary. So we have yesterday's cash flow, total revenue zero dollars, total expenses twelve oh seven. Yeah, that's not that great. Uh, but they should be paying rent soon. Yep. So there we go. They have rent revenues coming in two hundred ninety bucks a day, but our operating costs are three hundred seventy. So we need to get some more people in here. Let's go ahead and go down to regular speed. And uh, we'll do a utility closet. Where is the utility closet? A wiring closet up there. There we go. Okay. And we'll go ahead and just preemptively put our electrical cables up there. And let's get a restaurant up here. There we go. Uh, let's pick out a tenant. We have Costa Road Burger Grill or Judith's Wraps. Um, I'm not a big fan of wraps, so we're going to go with some grill, some burgers. Have then come in. And then up here, let's get some more buildings in here. We could do uh, residential spaces, but I kind of want to stick to offices, at least for these uh, lower floors. We could do residential areas once we start to get a little higher. We have some more offices. We can do legal offices now. Cool. Let's go with uh, Ronnie Nung Law Group. There we go. And yeah, we'll have two lawyers up here. Uh, King Investigations. There we go. Or I guess they're not all lawyers, but legal groups. Let's send our maintenance workers up there. And let's see. All right, there are a lot more things we can do, like services and rent and stuff. While they're working on this, I guess I'll, I'll walk you through. Over here, we have our prestige level. Uh, higher prestige attacks, uh, attracts high-end tenants and opens up growth opportunities. So you gain prestige just from having happy people, getting your word spread, uh, having a nice operating building, uh, art, things like that. Uh, we have our current population and our visitors. We have our buzz, generated by popular retail stores, restaurants, and some offices. Very cool. And then we have influence, which we can use to, to spend on various things, aesthetics, politics, operations. Like we can even get like a, a small art studio and things like that to kind of uh, increase our prestige and our buzz. So it's, uh, the system all works together with basically these two things, your prestige, buzz, and influence. And then of course money. Money is very important. But now we got our grill in here, even though it looks like, looks like a sandwich place. Does not look like a burger place to me. Worst game ever, 0 out of 10. And the work, they should be starting soon, so people should be coming in. Oh, we don't have a phone line in there. They have a phone line down here? What? Okay, let's go up to utilities, phone. Oh, they just need a phone line there. Okay, so not everyone needs a phone line. These guys definitely do. Uh, some of these displease your tenants. What? Okay, well, to find that out, we can go ahead and uh, pause the game real quick. We'll go over to overlays. We'll check out satisfaction. Oh, what happened here? Did they leave? Oh, they moved out? They never even showed up! That was dumb. That was dumb. They, they didn't even show up. What is going on here? Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and rebuild this. That was weird. I haven't, I haven't seen that happen. Okay. Uh, let's put another office up here. And... Alright. Joe R. Washington Investigations. Some of you show up. You guys want to go build that real quick? Please and thank you. Ooh, look at he's going to get, they're going to get food. That's cool. They actually do and go get food. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, hopefully we'll actually be in the green for this day. If we can get someone to move in today. I mean, it's already 2 p.m. Okay, no phone line. I thought I put a phone line there. Pause the game. Utilities. Phone. I, what, I, what? Oh, we need... Oh, I'm dumb. Okay, don't we need a uh, phone switchboard? Right? Yes, we do. Uh, we can put that in the basement down here. So let's go build that real quick, guys. Come on. Get up. Oh, wait. Never mind. I guess they don't have to build it. Builds automatically. Cool. So we got our investigation office going underway. Our employee seems unhappy here. Well, would you tell me why? That'd be great. Oh, these people aren't happy either. No, do not quit. Do do do. I know they, they need courier service. Okay, so here it's gonna tell us different needs they have. So courier service is needed, copy service is needed, copy services. Okay, so they want couriers and copiers. That's good to know. And those should be down here. We have courier services. Uh do we want that in the basement or should we build a different floor or we could expand it out this way? We are kind of low on room. A uh, courier will just stuck. We'll just stick them in the basement, and then copier services. 
Do 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 copy of services. Not present but desired by tenants. That's handy. So it actually tells you when they desire it. Uh, we can expand up more and get more floors, but we can also expand this way. So we should just be able to plop that over there. Let's speed time up, guys. Let's finish this up. Okay, cool. So we got our courier service going. Nicely done. They're finishing up this building. And we'll get the copy services put over here. Point. Wait, this these are different. Okay, that's courier. This is a copier. Okay. They look very similar. That's why I was confused, but that should help. Uh, we do need electricity over there. So we'll go ahead and bring it on over. There you go. Cool. That should make these guys much happier. Uh, it still says courier and copy service needed, but maybe because it hasn't actually been part of the workday. Daily budget summary. So our money did go up, but we did spend quite a bit more. Yeah, we're going to keep losing money. It's it's going to happen. Mine is 175 a day. Not good. All right, and the sun is rising our next day. What do we got here? Drats, rain. Other than causing especially dirty floors, rain means that fewer visitors from outside the building are patronizing your restaurants and stores. Dang it. Okay. I think that would make more because people want to get in out of the rain, but I... I suppose they're not out and about during the day. Let's see, and it's almost nine, so people are gonna start coming in. We got people manning our uh, courier center right here. No problem there, I'll just speed up time a little bit. I just wanna start making a profit. Uh, people are coming into work, here they come. Woo! Awesome, okay, they should be a lot heavier now. Copier service is needed. You have a copier literally next door. Okay, yep, they're, they're much happier now. They've got their copier services and their courier services. Very cool. I kind of want to try and build ourselves a, little, a lobby. Because right now we just have the door going right to the elevator. Let's go over here, add some more floor pieces. Just a, just a small little lobby that we could throw some art in or some wallpaper or something. Make it look real nice. Get that built right there. Ooh, that's looking pretty. Okay, so we got that set up. Let's see. Uh, we built some art. Let's see, plazas, ooh. Isn't that special? Meat art, oh no, we don't have a uh, place a small painting for a small increased prestige. Okay, so we actually need to get influence. Nope, we need prestige, okay. We need to up our prestige. Uh, well, we should gain our higher prestige once we have a uh, 20 population. So we're gonna go ahead and add a whole nother floor. Actually, uh, first we're gonna do that. And then let's just go all out, another whole floor. Go build it! Do my bidding! Work slaves? I mean, my lovely maintenance works. Oh! I just realized they don't have a way to get up there. <laughs> I'm stupid. Okay, they need an elevator. There you go. There we go. Okay, now they can actually get up there. I'm sorry, work slaves. I didn't know what I was thinking. And this floor is finishing up over here, so we're gonna build another little office over here. And we'll do accounting offices. There we go. Reese tax offices. He's paying a lot more. Very cool. And now we're on this floor, let's start doing some residential places. Let's see. Yeah, we'll do some uh, studio apartments. Let's see, basic studio apartment. There we go. Hopefully that will get some people to start moving in. Nope, oh, we do need electrical line going this way. And they do need uh, water up there. So let's just go back to regular speed today just so we can uh, figure this out. Electrical line. Good to go. Uh, we do need a utility closet. Right, so oh, we need water. So we need a water meter. Where can we stick a water meter? Oh, it needs to be down here. Okay, I think it has to be in the basement. Uh, so we have to build some more rooms down here. Excuse me, I need to go over here. Thank you. Nope, have it. Go. Okay, so they gotta do that before we can get water. What is wrong with you? Okay, this tenant continued moving out. Why? Why? <laughs> Tell me why. <laughs> Why are you so upset with me? I don't understand. What do you want from me? Oh, they left. Okay, yeah, they went to the bus stop. You little goober, they are having such a hard time in this office. I don't know why. Like, they can get there, right? I know there's a wiring closet in the way, but that's not stopping them from actually getting there, is it? No. It's just this one. It might be really obvious. I'm just not seeing it because we have their, uh,. Satisfaction, not great. Profitability. Ooh, why is this one not great? We like it being... Okay, yeah, so they're becoming more profitable. So now you have view. Aesthetics. Traffic. Elevators. Noise. 
Smell, trash, grime, off. Yeah, seems fun to me. You know, whatever. Screw them. We don't even need them. We gotta get these maintenance guys going. Is there a way to we can get more maintenance workers? Because as our building's getting bigger, building stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, we need to build another maintenance closet for them. Okay. Well, that might be worth doing soon. Because we only have two maintenance workers right now. And I don't want to build any more apartments or anything until we get our actual uh, water line up. Yep, yep, yep. So we're sp we spent less, so that's something. Okay, we got our water meter down there. Oh, we had to put a plumbing closet up there, but now we should... What the heck? Does it have to go all the way? Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, well, so let's delete that. Okay, so... Does it have to go? Okay, because electricity, yeah, looks like it has to stack like that. Huh, okay, well, that makes this a little bit more difficult. Uh, let's take this. Destroy that. Destroy that. And destroy that. So yeah, this is uh, where the the poor planning <laughs> comes to bite me in the ass. Okay, well, let's go build those guys. Come on, get on it, please. Just keep hammering that wall until it's built. I believe in you. And then we gotta go to utilities, water. So we have water meter down here, and then we'll have plumbing closets. Plumbing closets allow give us verticality, and the water pipes give us horizontal access. Cool, there we go. Now we can start building some more uh, studio apartments up here. Yeah, we'll just fill it out completely. Studio apartment. Studio apartment, there we go. Should have water. Uh, we'll have to figure out if they want us to lay any uh, cable or anything. What? Can't function with that electrical line. Oh. You little goober. Okay. <laughs> Dang it! Okay, we have a uh, wiring closet right there. Okay, let's go ahead and... Oh wait, that works? Oh, they don't have to be stacked. Okay, it just has to hook up at some point. Okay, well, that was unnecessary to do what we just did, but whatever. Count it! There we go. Okay, what are they... What, what's wrong with you? Could not dispose of our trash. Dang it! Alright. Yep, yep, yep. Need trash bins on this floor. Okay, so to counteract this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna come over here, and we're gonna add some more infrastructure here. There you go. And once they build that, then we should be able to do a uh, trash. Should be around here somewhere. A janitorial, is that trash? No, not cleans office. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Plumber. Where the heck, where the heck? There's a lot of stuff here, look at that. There's yoga services, dog sitting services. Oh, plumber, where the heck is the trash service? There we go, okay, it's under infrastructure. Trash bins for each floor. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. Okay, yeah, so these go up here. Bins there, bins there. What is wrong with these guys? Not enough electrical transformers in the building, okay. It's always something with you people. Electrical transformers, let's go to build another one. And then for trash, we actually need... Uh, so the build trash and recycle bins at each floor and collection rooms in the basement. So we need a collection room down here. So we gotta make this a little bigger. Uh, I think it's only like four big or something? How big is it? Oh man, okay, this thing's pretty big. So we need another one. One more. Uno mas. Einsmer. Nope, we need collections. We can't build it yet. Come on. You little silly people. Silly maintenance workers. Keep hammering the wall. Okay, we got the trash. Good to go there. Or at least the trash collection. Or the trash bins collection will be in the basement. It's weird. Sometimes you can build before it's actually like build up and sometimes you can't. I don't know. It seems to be a little weird. Come on! Oh, they're up getting food. Little stinkers. There we go. Got our trash collection in the basement. Not too bad. Not too bad. But that's probably going to be it for this first look at... Uh, Project High Rise, forgot the name of the game there for a second. If you guys do want to see more, be sure to let me know, leave a like, things like that. I'll see you next time, possibly for some more Project High Rise. Bye.